on to the build. Let's start off by showing you how the aileron servo is installed into the wing. Uh, we have our aileron servo installed. We powered it up and centered it. We have our control rod installed. We have our clevis and our control horn secured to the aileron. So that installation is done. We have to do the other side. The servos that we've selected for our ailerons are the Fataba S3114 servos. To help make that installation easier, they have a string that's provided in the wing to help pull the servo leads through the wing. We have our nylon dowel rods installed, and we've also installed one of our main landing gear showing you how that's done, including the wheel installed with the wheel collars. The other main landing gear is here, and these are all the components that you're going to need to install this main landing gear into the wing. On to the other items that are part of the build. This is your vertical stabilizer showing you the hinge that's going to be installed in the rudder and then this hinge is going to be installed into the fuselage. You have your control horn here that's going to be installed on the rudder. You also want to secure this vertical stabilizer to the top of the fuselage back aft. This is the horizontal stabilizer that's going to be installed on the aft section of the fuselage in the slot back here. After you have that secured, you're going to use the elevator steel rod joiner to secure both these elevators together. And then you're also going to use these hinges to secure the elevators to the horizontal stabilizer, along with installing your control horn on the elevator. The receiver that we've selected is the Fataba R2008SB 2.4 GHz receiver. The motor that we've selected is the Rimfire 3530-1250KV motor. As you see here, we've also installed the mount to the back of the motor and this will be secured to the firewall front section of the fuselage. The ESC that we've selected is the Electrofly 25 amp ESC. The battery that's going to be powering our electrical system for our airplane is the Electrofly 11.1 volt 3 cell 1800 milliamp 30C LiPo battery. The servos that we've selected to power our rudder and our elevator are the Fataba S3114 servos. We also have our control rods here for both the rudder and the elevators. We also have our control rod here for the nose gear steering and we have all the components for the installation of the nose landing gear and the nose landing gear steering system. We also installed our fin or this is where the fin is going to be secured to the aft section of the fuselage. So let's go ahead and get all these components installed into the fuselage including the servos into the fuselage and we'll show you that once we have that completed. Let's go over the components that we've installed on the wing. The wing is complete. I just wanted to show you how the other main landing gear is installed and again our other servo and all the components for our aileron, control horn, everything hooked up. Our wing is complete. In addition you can also see the servo leads for our aileron servos through the wing there. So the wing is done. Let's go ahead and move on to the fuselage and talk about the components that we've installed. As you can see up front, here is our rimfire motor installed on our firewall. Our ESC is hooked up. Uh, the nose landing gear installation is completed. Um, and again, the uh, nose landing gear steering hardware is hooked up and it's been centered. In our ESC receiver compartment, you can see where our receiver and our ESC is and how I install those. All we have to do is close up the cover and that's complete. Moving on to the center section of the wing area where the wing cutout is, you can see the wires that I have here. I've secured those and neaten those up. This is for your aileron servos. Both servos are going to plug into this connector. Here is our um, rudder and our elevator servos. As you can see here, the control rods are hooked up. They've been centered, powered up, and rigged and they're ready to go. Moving back aft onto the rudder and elevators you can see the control horn and the rod hooked up on our rudder and then over here you could see the control horn and rod control rod hooked up to our elevators and again that's secure let's go ahead and rotate the fuselage over and talk about the top side
Okay, looking back aft, one thing I want to point out, when you install your um, horizontal stabilizer, you want to install your horizontal stabilizer first and then install your vertical stabilizer. Just want to point that out. Moving up front into the uh, battery compartment section here, as you can see we have Velcro for our battery. This is our ESC uh, wiring that plugs into the battery. Everything is installed here and complete in this section. All we have left to do is install our cowling, put our prop, prop spinner on, and install our wing into the fuselage and the model will be complete. Alright everyone. We have the top flight mini container complete. As you can see, the wings, the cowling, the prop, everything's installed. The airplane is ready for flight and it's also been CG. So when we get out to the field, we'll power up all the flight controls, we'll taxi out, and we'll accomplish the maiden flight. Look forward to seeing you out on the field.